since we talked about backlogs last time, I want to continue that topic for a little bit longer. And I would like to talk about essentially just a word, or two words rather, the word backlog and the word funnel, because words have power. And I think if you were to call what you now call a backlog a funnel, maybe it would convey a clearer picture of motion through this funnel, of change, of activity, as opposed to something kind of calm and placid and unmoving, like a backlog. So backlog, we said, is this ordered list of, of requirements. And especially to people who maybe are not quite as familiar with those terms, like your business colleagues, for instance, they might be forgiven for thinking that this is like the traditional requirements document. You write it once and then you're done and it never changes. And it just, it, it's set in stone. Whereas if you call it a funnel, then you know what happens in a funnel? Things move, things fall in and they keep moving through. And also I think it makes sense for a, for a funnel to be sort of very wide and vague perhaps even at the top and then become a lot more focused, a lot narrower, quite literally, at the bottom. And so I encourage you to think of what we call the backlog as a funnel, as something that moves, as something that increases in focus as you go further down. And to use this mental picture, especially in your conversations with stakeholders, with colleagues, to create this sense of motion and this sense of focus, which is, I think, what is very, very important to any kind of successful agile endeavor. 